this edition of Can We Skate It, I'm going to try to skate this slanted pole over here. It's basically just like a pole jam, so I thought it could be skatable. Basically what it is, is it's this pole that's in all of these empty lots in my neighborhood that is hooked up to utilities once they build a house. And it's definitely sketchy as crap, like for sure, like look at this, it's already broken. And it's made of PVC, so... And yeah, look at that wobbling. And just, it's in the middle of nowhere, so I'm going to have to get a big plywood-like trail to get up here. And if this one snaps, then over there, I got myself a backup. And then once that one snaps, which I'm sure it will, all the way down there, there's another one. And if that one snaps, then I'm for sure done. <laughs> Alright, so this is setup number one, with all my ply running up. Um, let's see just how sketchy this is going to be. Here, Devin. That one was close though. Alright, so I was told not to hit the pole anymore and try to do any tricks on it anymore. So this is build number two, and it's basically just a piece of ply up it so that I don't damage the pole. And um, I hope it works. Alright, well my first make on this thing was sketchy because it was dark outside so you couldn't really see it. So I came back for a second day to try it again. Alright, now this time I'm going to try to 180 kick churn out. Alright, well I was told not to grind the one over there last time, so that's why I decided to put the piece of plywood up. And I did skate it the other way, so it is skatable. But I wanted to come over here and try this one, and grind it, just like a pole jam. So, um, this is the setup right here, and I'm gonna go for it. Alright, these utility pole jams are totally skatable, but I would not suggest skating them because they are sketchy and because I don't want to get blamed for telling you to destroy private property.